what's up, it's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Volo Volo Vlog. Today we're gonna be blasting Finland's Crips Remnants of Expansion. So fucking good. Dark Descent Records. I have their debut coming in the mail. So fucking stoked. I seriously can't wait to spin that. This is so good. Remnants of Expansion. Killer, killer death metal from Finland with that death doom edge that most Finnish death metal's known for. So fucking heavy. Awesome, awesome stuff here. Threw the B side on. Fuck yeah. Enjoy this fucking devastating slab of tectonic Finnish death. And, uh,. Let's travel to our homeland here of America today and go over two of America's fucking sickest death metal bands. And we're going to be going over The Final State of Existence, Putresect vs. Scorched. This is on Norway's Edged Circle Productions on vinyl and Dark Descent Records slash Unspeakable Axe did the CD version. Pretty sure Unspeakable Axe did the CD version. But you have Body More, Murderlands, uh, Future Sect, and The Mighty Delaware's Scorched. Hi, I'm in Delaware. But yeah, seriously, first off, look at how sick this fucking vinyl sleeve is. This thing could, like, survive the end of the world. It's like fucking two centimeters thick. It's sick. I mean, it gets all bent up and like wrinkly, but it doesn't matter. This thing will protect anything. It's like a giant condom. Like, I guess if you want to like face fuck somebody, you could like cut up. I don't know. That was grimy, but yeah, I guess you could use that for that as well. I don't know, but this gorgeous artwork by Misanthropic Art. Look at that shit. You know I'm a sucker for good artwork and Final State of Existence Future Sect vs. Scorched has some awesome fucking artwork to it. But first let's talk about Body More Murderland, aka Baltimore, Maryland. Future Sect. They fucking rule. Seriously, especially Blasphemous Repris uh, Reprisal. Such a fucking killer song to open this split off. A lot of this is like straightforward death metal and it's awesome. But like, uh, Future Sect has yet to do a full length record, so you have members of like Marrow, Aim for the Head, Plague Wielder, and Burning Axe involved, so those guys are kind of busy, but I really hope they get together and put out a full length in the near future because. They're fucking awesome. You have some thick, like, wet blanket style guitars. Kind of reminds me of, like, Incantation, Onward to Golgotha. Like, that style of, like, guitar production. It sounds fucking great, seriously. Like, I dig it a lot. And, uh, here's their little promo photo. Sadly, it was not in a cemetery, but still fucking sick. But, like, think of the, uh, like, wet blanket guitar sound of Almer to Golgotha meets, like, Nihilist and Possessed on a vocal level, and also even early Entombed, and even treading some, like, fucking, uh... Morphous Descends and Autopsy Waters on here. This is really, really good. Kind of straightforward, one-dimensional when it comes to the vocal delivery, but it's nothing that's bad. I think it sounds fucking sick. And I can't wait to hear more from this band, seriously. Fucking Bodymore Murderland. Future Sect. Get into it. Awesome stuff. And now... Another kick-ass track on here. All three of these Putresec tracks are amazing, but 
You have the final cleansing and astral martyrdom. Amazing tracks. And then it's time to dive into the Scorch side of things. From the first state, a.k.a. Delaware, you have some fucking bolt thrower meets Chris Barnes error cannibal corpse style vocals. But with a more Swedish style of death metal, definitely way more European sounding than the newer Scorch material, but it's fucking great. I love it, seriously. It sounds amazing, especially vocally. Wow. And riff-wise, drum-wise, everything about Scorch, seriously. If you want to know why they got signed the 20 Buck Spin Records, just check this out or check out Echoes of Dismem Dismemberment. Amazing stuff. Or even their four-way split with Home Wrecker, Outer Heaven. Oh my god. Gate Creeper. That's such a good split as well. But this, I really, really dig this split just as much as that one. And Lust for Strangle... In ah. Lust for uh, Strangulation. Such a kick-ass fucking song. Seriously. Oh, man. I really love Matthew Kappa's vocals. Like, he's just fucking sick. And you have uh, Steve Fuchs on guitar, Daniel Rindinger on guitar, Matthew Kappa on vocals, Andrew Bentelli on bass, and Matt Izzy on drums. Fuck yeah. I love that photo right there. Fucking stay death. But yeah, two songs, one instrumental, and you have Viserial Ascension, killer, killer stuff. If you're a fan of straightforward death metal with a little bit of a Scandinavian edge, you're going to love the Scorch side of things. Nowadays, I feel like they are the rebirth of Chris Barnes' era Cannibal Corpse. Meets Bolt Thrower Fourth Crusade error. It's fucking amazing. And congratulations on getting signed to 20 Bucks Spin Records. Hell yeah, Scorched. And Final State of Existence is a great little split. You get 20 plus minutes of straightforward US death metal from the East Coast. It's fucking sick. And if I had to pick a side here, if it was actually. Future Sect versus Scorched. I'm gonna go with the Scorched side of things. It's oh man, this band just, in my opinion, can do no wrong. Like they just capture that essence of old school death metal so goddamn well. And Future Sect do a very good job as well. I think I really, really dig this stuff, and I just can't wait to hear a full length. Like seriously. Also, some of the grinding drums on here really, really caught my attention. I liked it a lot. I really liked the drum sound in general and the whole, like, kind of Morpheus Descends vibe this gave off. It, it was great. I really, really dug it. Anytime you hear some, like, thick, thick wet blanket death metal, it's mostly fucking fire. And this whole split right here, total fucking fire. Future Sect vs. Scorched Final State of Existence on Ed Circle Productions and Unspeakable Axe Records has the CD version. This is so goddamn good. Just on plain black vinyl. And it's amazing sounding. Awesome artwork as well. And just some nice font really dig this. It sounds great. Looks great. And yeah, if you like death metal, you have no excuse not to check this out. Especially American death metal. And yeah, if you like, you know, a little more traditional, not so filthy, like, you know, gore riddled death metal, then this is totally for you get into it. Both these bands are great, but Scorch 
check out Hymns from the Cellar, especially, especially Echoes of Dismemberment as well. Fucking wow. Scorched is one of those bands that can do no wrong. Future Sect have a sick uh, four-way seven-inch with, like, Funeral Bomb and shit. Like, both these bands are fucking great, and, yeah, I recommend them both. And I recommend checking out this split release because it fucking rules. Final state of existence. Future Sect vs. Scorched. I'm going to give this a fucking 9 out of 10. It's fucking great. I love, you know, when two bands get together and make something great like this that, you know, everybody can enjoy. This is just some killer fucking old school death metal. And if that's your cup of tea, you are going to eat up the final state of existence. Because, yeah. This is going to just... Aw, oh man. Bring the crypt into your speakers and into your home. And just fucking lay you to waste. It's a great show off of East Coast death metal, like I was saying. And get into it and also congratulations scorched for getting picked up by 20 bucks spin fuck yeah and uh we've been blasting finland's crips remnants of expansion on dark descent records fuck yes so good great artwork great music so heavy so good get into it as well. Links will be below. Thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells. Ugh.